I wanted to introduce you to some of the projects that we've made through the years and filmed, made videos from, and they're available for free for you to watch, to learn from, to glean from. And the neat thing about these is they're made from scraps of wood. You can make them from just about any kind of wood, and they're um, the kind of project that will make great gifts. So that's what I wanted to do, introduce you to this, but purely so that you can build your skills and enjoy the making of them too. One of the projects that I've introduced my own children to when they were very little, when they were three, four, five, six, seven years old, is the wooden cutting board. And what I did is I gave them a spoke shave, a rasp, a scraper, and some sandpaper. And we took a rectangular piece of wood, just like this one. This piece came from this piece. And, um, and we just shaped it. That was wonderful for the experience of shaping wood. This is just the beginning. And this is how I would start any child or anybody new to woodworking. This is a first project for anybody. It's a great project. Another project I want to show you is the wooden spoon. This is wonderful. This is another carving project. This is where you start scalloping the bowl with a, a gouge and then you shape the outside with a spoke shave and a chisel and, and different hand tools wonderful for making but you can go then to this level add a little bit of a hook on the back and what that does you've got the saucepan cooking the the meal or whatever and this hangs on the side so you can leave it inside the pot that way and it doesn't drop off so it's a perfect second level project for you to start working if you want to do spoon carving that's a wonderful way of making that kind of gift Here's a project that I came up with several years ago, a set of coasters, every one slightly different, uh, different coloured woods in there. It's very quick and simple to make, it's not complicated. And then I made the stand and these pieces are mortise and tenon into the base and it makes a very neat way of storing, storing your coasters there and you could enlarge that into larger platters. You could make all kinds of things just using this technique. So this is a neat project to get started in woodworking too. I remember making this one. I wanted something that I could store my sandpaper in. And uh, of course it doesn't have to be sand, sandpaper. It could be your cell phone, it could be your keys, it could be just about anything and you could adapt this to suit your own needs. But it's got dovetail front and back, double dovetail on the back, single dovetail on the front. It's got a housing dado and it's made from hardwood, but you could make it from pine, you could make it from any kind of wood. And uh, it's really a neat project to get started on joinery. Not too complicated, fairly simple, and just a handful of tools. When it comes to complex joinery, the projects don't have to be complicated. And this one may look complicated because it's got a few different details of it. But when you take them one at a time, you can do the joinery on it. I've got a single dovetail here, I've got a dovetail here, but this dovetail also allows for a groove in the top for the sliding lid. So this is a great project. And then on the lid itself, we've got these little recesses all the way around that facilitates it going into. Then we've got this raised uh, area all the way around and we've got the thumb pull on there. So there are a lot of little things in this that will get you started into the joinery but also into a practical approach. It doesn't have to be pencils. You can scale this up or down and use it for other things. You might want to put your remote in there for the TV. Anything like that could just neaten up your living room. Now on my final project, not the last but not, uh, last but not least, should I say. This is a, a handy storage thing. I use this for my pencils. I put this on my desktop. You can slide it into the drawer, put your drawing instruments in there, pens, paint brushes for painting if you're a painter, if you're an artist, things like that. But it's also a great 
um, piece that you can slide your keys in on the entryway table, put your keys in when you get home, pick your keys up when you leave the house. It's got laminations in this. This is one of the first laminated projects we actually did with different colored woods. Then we used a contrasting wood, half housings in here, things like that. It's a great project to make. I think you'll enjoy making that one as much as you will all the others. This is the way to build your skills, small project, you don't need a big project. Small projects do lead to bigger projects and you can make these uh, larger as you grow in your woodworking and make them into other things. I can see how different elements that we've introduced in this could go into making a dresser, a dining table or anything else. It's a wonderful way to get started in woodworking. So check out the links in the description below and thank you for watching.